So today we're rebuilding the Padres. We're going to do a 10-year rebuild. Yeah, I'm feeling a 10-year rebuild today. I feel like this is going to be a good team to do it. I know we got two teams left, the Phillies and the Astros. I think that was the other team. Am I missing another team? I don't think I am. Let me know down below. But of course, if you enjoyed today's video, thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here. And in the comment section, you guys know the drill. Leave some video ideas. Let me know what you thought of the Field of Dreams game. Talk about excitement to end it off. Ooh, if you missed it, go watch some highlights because it was a crazy game. But let me know what you guys thought about it down below. Uh, username for the rosters right below me. And then today, I'm going to leave ignore budgets off. Normally, I turn them on because of like the Dodgers and the Yankees. A lot of a couple teams are like really over budget. I think the Dodgers are like 100 mil over budget. But I've been noticing like the free agency pool has been really bad because teams are just signing everybody. So I'm going to I'm going to have the budgets be an issue this time. So let's talk about this team. So I know there is one thing that I have to change right away. And that's Jorge Mateo went to the Orioles. I'm just going to pick up a player from them. Willie Jan's good. And that's good to go. So I think that's it. I don't think any other changes have happened with the squad. But talking about the team. I know you Darvish just got injured like tonight. We have, you know, Mackenzie Gore struggling in real life. Adrian Morihone's struggling in real life. Blake Snell's kind of like, he'll have a really good outing, then he'll have a bad outing, and then he'll have another good one, and then have a really bad one. You've got Clevenger who's out for the year. Lamette's been battling injuries this season. So the Padres have been kind of unlucky with some of these injuries, and some players just really aren't developing like they would have hoped. On top of that, you know, you look at the bullpen. I definitely thought they would have gone crazy at the deadline trying to acquire somebody, right? Because, like, that it's just not the strongest of bullpens. And then on top of that, you know, their their development of pitchers really hasn't gone to plan. Chris Paddock really hasn't panned out either. You look at the catchers, depth at the catcher position for sure. Cronenworth and Hosmer, which apparently Hosmer they were trying to just get rid of at the deadline for like whoever would have taken them. Frazier was their big acquisition. Haseon Kim. And then what else do we got here? Machado, of course. Tatis, who's coming back from another reoccurring or like the reoccurring shoulder issue. He just needs to get the surgery. He, he really needs to. He's only causing more and more trouble to it. I know they're considering moving him to the outfield. I don't really see how that helps at all. If it works, so I guess maybe they just need outfield help. Who knows? Fam, Mariznick, you got Profar, you got O'Grady, Grisham, Will Myers, and, uh, you know, some prospects along the way. But, like, I like this team. I think we can do a lot of a lot of different things with it. I think we can have some fun with it. So, we've, we've got this Machado contract. Obviously, Darvish as well. Hosmer, Tatis, Will Myers for a couple seasons. A couple, a couple okay contracts and a couple, like, ugh, contracts. So, let's play it smart. Let's leave the season as is. Let's see how it goes. Of course, we'll do the draft, have some fun there, and we'll go from there. But you guys saw the team. I like it. I think I think we've got a good a good core to build around. All right, a super pitcher heavy draft, and it even the picks were just a lot of good pitchers, and the position players weren't that good. And you can see we got Dusty Bearden who has no beard. Disappointing. We got Jeffrey Saul. Nope, Jeffrey Saul. 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 We got Joey Hutton. Henry Garcia, and then Otis Lombardo. You know what? I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm just hoping all these guys can develop. Because otherwise, I just used... I, I, I went full angels on this draft where I only picked one position player. I, like, that's too many pitchers for me to be drafted. So I got ready to be like, oh man, we just, we just wiped the league. Division, ours, we're good to go. We're a wild card team. What? 107 and 55? We're a wild card team. By one game. One game. Are you joking me? Ooh, dang. Okay. 107 wins and we're a wild card team. Whew. All right. Tommy Pham had the most stolen bases. That's about it. Awards wise, what do we got? Ooh, Tatis was in the mix there. Bryce Harper, who could actually win MVP this season. Bryce Harper is having an unbelievable year dylan bundy <laughs> that's back to back oh wait hold on wait a minute 
who who okay someone had to secretly program some code in here where dylan bundy is meant to win cy young mvp no matter what because who's giving dylan bundy cy young right here who's doing it how how is chris sale not winning what how is garrett cole not winning cy young how how are we giving dylan bundy Okay, I'm, Dylan Bundy is just the best pitcher in the game. It, it's, that's just what we figured out. It just, just is. He's he's just the best. D no Otani, no Garrett Cole, no Jacob deGrom. Dylan Bundy. We're going to call him the killer. D Dylan Bundy. All right, what do we got here? Blake Smell. Not bad. Not bad. Austin Adams, Pomeranz. We've got Daniel Hudson. Eh. And then uh, Kaoni Kella and Craig Stammon. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mark Melanson. Where did he go? Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so. Strom. No, who got who got sent down? Someone got sent down. Tim Hill. I need that lefty in the bullpen. Actually, do I need the lefty in the bullpen? I don't think I... I probably do. I probably do, but... We'll, we'll avoid it. Uh, we got Yu Darvish, who was... I mean, even he could have been Cy Young over Dylan Bundy. Joe Musgrove was solid. Clevenger was good. Lamette. Paddock. Perfect. All right. Love it. Perfect. All right. What do we got? Uh, It looks... Oh, Eric Hosmer got sent down. Big yikes. Big yikes. I mean, we've got him for four more years. We got we got to get rid of him. We got to get rid of him. Okay. Jerks and Profar. Not fantastic. Caratini. Actually, not too bad. As a bench bat, a backup catcher, perfect. Haseon Kim struggled. Campusano, what, three hits and seven at-bats? Not terrible. All right, what do we got? Adam Frazier. Good on base percentage. I'll probably keep him for the next year that he has because we have him for arbitration. But outside of that, probably not going to bring him back. Tommy Pham, almost identical numbers to Adam Frazier. We've got Tatis, who was really good. Machado, who was really good. Um, Actually... Kind of disappointed by Machado. Trent Grisham, pretty good season. That's what I would like to see. Will Myers, pretty disappointing. And he's going down in overall. Yikes. Um, Cronenworth, Nola. Okay. What I'm seeing here is we, we got some work to do offense or like with the lineup. Abrams is good for the future, but he's probably like another season or two. Away. He's probably at least two seasons away. And then outside of that, um, we should have the center field hassle, center fielder hassle. But then I'm looking at the team and we we, we kind of need some we need some help because some of these players really don't look like they're gonna be holding their rating. Game one of our postseason adventure, and we win one to nothing. Oh. Okay. Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal at all. But let's see what we can do here against the Dodgers now. And we're a, oh, we're not in the World Series because we were a wildcard team. So, we've got Paddock up. Is this who I want, though? Paddock? Let's go... Let's go Darvish. Yeah, let's go back to, like, the, the top of our rotation. There we go. Perfect. Braves now. And we might lose. We lost to the Braves? Dang. Okay, so it's going to be the Braves and the White Sox in the World Series. The Braves? No shot. The Braves even make the postseason in real life. There's not even a chance that happens. All right, so that season's over. A little bit of a disappointment. Let's see what we're going to do here. Honestly, nobody's coming back. Um, Maybe Kayla. I'm down to bring back Kayla. We'll go three years for him. What does he want? Five mil? Let's do... Yeah, right there. Perfect. Oh, okay. That's actually not too bad. Five mil for three years? Or five mil every year for three yeah you 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 know what i mean all righty what do we have here i don't know maybe camarena maybe i just don't know if he'll get picked up in the rule five draft he shouldn't but he might and then i'm trying to see i guess we i guess we bring back everybody contracts gotta give it to everybody I kind of want to get younger, and I feel like the only way we're going to do that is through trades, like getting rid of Hosmer, Will Myers, players like that, and uh, we'll just save a little bit of money, be smart this offseason, 
probably not gonna spend much maybe try to get like some platoon guys but that's about it second season i'm gonna pick up a new first baseman nate low of the rangers eric hosmer La lake bashar or batcher and then joshua mears boom i know you guys already saw my secret weapon uh, he's there i'm telling you it's gonna ha he's gonna make an appearance so let's talk about our off season so we we, we signed a couple players to fill out the farm system one of them being austin beck actually of the athletics organization he was sitting there i thought okay he can either be a platoon guy for us in the future or a trade piece we'll pick him up mike morin is for some reason always good in franchise so i decided to pick him up in the rule five draft especially since there were a lot of older pitchers in free agency i just didn't want to sign any of them that's really what it came down to lewis brinson the secret weapon the player who is currently better than the person he got traded for in christian yelich so we'll, we'll see how he did how he does he actually had a really good season last year i'm thinking maybe we let him sit in triple a this year really boost those stats up and then he can be kind of our platoon outfielder next year or if will meyer sucks and he's gone um kayla we signed him back for five mil let me see. Andrew McCutcheon, I signed him basically instead of Tommy Pham. Similar age. And I was thinking, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get another outfielder. So I might as well sign someone who I know will at least give me some decent numbers, right? Jonathan VR, I feel like kind of fits the whole Padres mentality of a, just play a bunch of different positions. We'll find a way to get you in the lineup. Didn't have the best of years last year. I gave him a two year deal, whatever. We'll see how it goes. And I think that's it. I think that's it uh free agency wasn't great <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it wasn't uh when we take a look at our depth chart though we have a lot of players on con like contracts uh years so mccutcheon clevenger musgrove frazier mike morin and then next year when you look at it it doesn't look like it gets much better for our team it actually looks like we get a lot weaker so we gotta be a little bit smart with it um we have money but like at the same time we still got some really gross contracts <laughs> so i'm trying to be a little bit smart with our money so we don't just lose every like we just get stuck in a really bad budget situation but we'll see how this season treats us pitching wise we should be okay darvish's contract isn't too bad i know he's gonna be pretty bad after the season though so we're either gonna bring back one of these guys i just don't know who just yet i might not bring either of them back to be honest they might have terrible years and we could spend the money somewhere else snell we've got adams who was in triple a last year pagan morin strom pomeranz and kayla and then here is our lineup for now i'm probably gonna take mccutcheon out is this where we go to brinson versus the righties uh nate low needs to come in or we could do we could do this and then left field frazier second base cronenworth and uh, i don't know maybe hasiung kim here i don't know we'll find something out but this is probably going to be our starting lineup i like it but at the same time i feel like it could be better but like it's also i don't want to just blow up the team right so we did really well last year i feel like we should do the same if not better so let's get into second season let's go through season two's draft freddie franco was a really good pick by the pirates 66 overall 93 potential definitely a player to look out for six foot three third baseman the next one was of the mets pedro ramirez 91 potential six foot five pitcher at 19 years old 74 overall i mean this guy looks like he's gonna be pretty good holy cow billy shabazian from texas what a name too bad he's not gonna be any good for any time soon and uh, the last one is Hoyt Lopez. So we have a starting pitcher, 73 overall with 91 potential. There we go. There we go. So let's take a look at ours. We've got Vincent Fry, a closing pitcher, one of the best players that were available at our pick. So that's why I went with him. We've got Adrian Bourbon. I was hoping would have been better. Big let down by him. You're probably thinking, why would I take another closer? The name. The name. Big Poppy's back. Different country different position but he's back we've got mitch leave it looks pretty good sammy morales and then brandon davis i'm pretty happy with our draft season two not as good definitely not as good and uh we're again a postseason team but as the wild card team dodgers are gonna be tough dodgers are gonna be really tough our pitching's really good I'm a little disappointed by the offense i mean it's also going to be difficult when we have to face the dodgers so many times that's like half our losses most likely so 
The Mets look like they're really good. The Red Sox look like they're really good. The Angels are always good. So we're going to have some, some work to do. We got Tatis killing it. Love to see that. And then we take a look at the awards. We got some gold gloves and an MVP for Tatis. Oof. If he could just stay healthy in real life, he would, he would have the MVP wrapped up in the NL. Yes, Bryce Harper's having a crazy year, but Tatis was... Ooh, he was he was mashing he was mashing and I feel like he just he's just got to stay healthy and that's going to be the big issue with him is just staying healthy and that it's kind of like I don't want to compare him to Correa because like clearly Tatis has shown that he can play at an elite level and be unbelievable which Correa can do too but I feel like Tatis has been doing it even better which is wild but that's the big knock on Correa is just he can't stay healthy. Same thing with Corey Seager. He just, they both just can't stay healthy. And if they could, their value would be like through the roof right now. Uh, Pomeran sucked, so I'm not bringing him back. <laughs> like We'll just leave it there. You do Arvish, pretty strong season. Mike Clevenger going down in rating along with Joe Musgrove. Not going to bring them back. They both had great seasons though. And so did Lamette and Paddock. Oh my God. Ooh, okay. Well, uh, take a look at the lineup. Oh, man, two players got sent down. Interesting. I'm going to call back up Will Myers, though, because his his season wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. We're going to send down Campusano for the post for the postseason. And then uh, let's let's get back here. This should be. Yep. Perfect. All right. VR sucked. Not actually on base percentage. OPS pretty good. Only 24 at bats, too. So I'll probably bring him back. Profar. Eh. Eh, Caratini, still really good off the bench. Lewis Brinson, I'm telling you, he's going to be the secret weapon for this rebuild. I, I, I can guarantee you, he's going to be. Um, Frazier's going up. I probably should have ex extended that contract. I was not expecting that. I'm not going to lie. I honestly thought he was going to fall off. He normally does around season three to season four. So that's why I'm a little hesitant. And uh, looking at the rest of the team, some good numbers, some bad numbers, and definitely some numbers that could have been a lot better. Kutch still gave us some, a pretty decent season, though. So, let's see here. Will Myers needs to be in right field. This is... Ooh, yeah, we'll do that. But let's move up him. And then we'll go, like, maybe Kutch there. And then maybe, like, Lewis Brinson there. And then, like, here we go. We lose. one nothing. T talk about a pitcher's duel. Oh, but we lose. We lose. The Dodgers win the World Series, defeating the Red Sox. Okay, okay, um, okay. Let's let's figure this out. Jonathan VR. We have Profar. I'm pretty sure we have Profar for another year. Let's just decline that. Jake Cronenworth, you can leave. Pierce Johnson, he's going down. He can leave. Uh, Mike Morin was kind of nasty, and he's going up in rating. Let's let's do one year. Let's do one year. Four point five mil. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Uh, Will Myers can go too. Kutch can go. Clevenger can go. Let's see. What do you want, Frazier? I'll give you two years. You can have what you want, but you can. Jesus, thirty mil. I can't do thirty mil. He had a great year though, but thirty mil. That's like Mookie Betts numbers. Like you're you're asking for crazy contract. I can't, I can't do that. That's too much. Screw it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're gonna give him the club option though. We gotta we gotta do it. He he just got paid thirty mil. Gross. Um, <laughs> gross. Uh, let's add probably nobody. Arbitration. What do we got here? Probably every no match strong, probably not, but everybody's gonna get one. And then we definitely need to strengthen this bullpen a little bit. Get some starters in. And then the lineup. We don't have a second baseman, so he didn't sign it, even though I gave him a $30 million offer. I might say no. <laughs> if he doesn't want to take that contract, I'll pay somebody else. He's also 31. He's available. You know what I mean? Like, let's just sorry, Adam Frazier, you're gone. Alrighty, season three. And I feel like we, we, we've got a good team starting to assemble here. So we got Espinal, kind of just a platoon guy for us. Eliezer Hernandez through the Rule 5 draft, who was with the Phillies. Um, super cheap deal. Pretty happy with it. He hasn't pitched yet. I'm thinking more as a long reliever. You'll see why in a sec. Michael Brosseau signed him to a super cheap deal. A million. 
We've got Suarez, a super cheap deal, 3 million. And then Joey Gallo is our new right fielder. 20 mil over the next few years. I decided to front load it so that later on in the rebuild, if we need to start bringing in bigger contracts and bigger players, we'll have some money to work with. Tim Anderson, another contract, three years, 10 mil. Like, imagine Tim Anderson in the electric city of San Diego. Are you, ooh, man, that would, ooh, that would be unmatched. So Austin Beck, we already talked about. Mike Moore, we already talked about, and then Rizel Iglesias, one year, nine mil, We're looking for him to be our setup guy. So, this is the squad right now. So, Darvish, Paddock, Lamette, Snell, and Weathers. We've got Hernandez, Pagan, Morin, Adams, Pomeranz, Iglesias, and Kayla. We'll see how it goes. This is uh, Pomeranz last year. So, we've got Anderson at second, Tatis, Machado, Gallo, Lowe, Kim, Nola, Brinson's going to get the start in left. He went up to a 76 after I moved him from a right fielder to a left fielder. And then Grisham. That's that's really the team. Um, I'm waiting for CJ Abrams stats to go up just a little bit more. I need those hitting stats to be closer to 70. And then Campusano will take over for Nola probably next year. He has arbitration, but at 33, he's not going to get... Well, he might get better. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Plus, we have Caratini. Who becomes a free agent so maybe nola moves to the bench campusano starts we'll have to wait and see how things go but trent grisham in the ninth spot or down here feels like a little bit of a slap in the face but i i just don't see him as a leadoff guy over tim anderson maybe he is maybe i'll have to think about it but that's the team for now when you take a look at the depth chart again you know you can kind of see like a couple players on their in their contract years but again i'm kind of worried that they're just going to continue to decrease so i don't want to lock them up long term and then you guys can kind of see the team here. I, I, I still think we've got a pretty good team. I still think we need some more offensive players for the future because we mostly have been drafting pitchers. But let's wait and see how things go. I'll see you guys at draft day. All right, once again, a pretty good draft. Greg Kavanaugh, I was thinking more of a long-term center fielder. He's got some decent arm, good vision, good speed, good hitting stats already. Uh, Jaime, Jaime, Jaime Chassin looks pretty decent. 83 potential, I like it. Alexis Castle, I wasn't 100% sold on this guy. But 80 potential for a catcher, I will 100% take that. That is huge. Um, we got Omar Rosario, 70 potential. So he was kind of the, the bust of the draft along with Valdez at 48 potential. But then we got Gerald Martins, who was a fourth round pick for us because it went one, two, uh, competitive balance, three. Martins looks really good as well. And then Alexi Escalona, 58 overall, but definitely a long-term project with 90 potential. So again, we're killing it with the drafts. So I'm approaching the all-star break and I'm gonna pick up Shed Long. The Red Sox aren't using him. He's got B potential, 77 overall. Last year played in 50 games, had a decent year. And right now he's killing it in AAA. Might as well give him a shot. Like, let's see what happens. Um, I was also looking for maybe some bullpen help or something. I'm gonna pick him up. I'm gonna pick him up while I can. Um, Let's see, maybe like, birdie gets the deal done plus you can have this guy okay you don't want that guy what about this guy or oh, i bet you you want two of those guys there it is there we go tyler alexander and the team so i think that might be it for like the deadline moves i think i'm gonna rock with those two for now if i feel like i need another one then we'll make one at the deadline we're three games out and we're at july 6th that's why i made those moves now because i felt like some players were really really disappointing and i wanted to add a couple to the squad we'll pick up cody hoyer from the cubs we're at the deadline now i'm gonna get rid of pomeranz and then another player i was looking at which i feel like that's just we can't we can't get him we don't i we don't really need him either we could use him, uh, but that takes away from C.J. Abrams too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Vidal Bruhan off the list. I I thought about it, but we're gonna leave him off the list. So that was the last move for sure. Just a little bit of bullpen reassurance. So we finally won the division, 104 and 58. Finally beating them Dodgers. Love to see it. Six games out, or six games behind us. As you can see, our pitching is killing it. You know, average is about the same too. Dodgers and the Braves is the wild card teams. Brewers and Mets, you got Yankees and Twins wild card squads with Angels, White Sox, and Red Sox. All right, league leaders, Tatis is still killing it. Love to see it. Does that say Carlos Correa on the Dodgers? Imagine that. The, oh, Houston would, 
oh man they would destroy every Correa jersey in the city you guys can see the award winners there what else we got here so okay we're definitely gonna have some money to spend this offseason not like a crazy amount but as per usual we'll, we'll have some money they sent down one of our better pitchers um so yeah let's 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 get that sorted out so he needs to be there he didn't pitch at all so i don't know why he's in the squad he didn't pitch at all this year i don't know why he's there i called up mackenzie gore and he did well so i would rather do that he didn't pitch at all let's remove him okay hold on what happened to our pitching so ryan weathers needs to go here we can go like that so then who who was sent down here let's see Rizel. oh boy five era okay we can we can stick with what we got here okay that's fine yeah all right eliezer hernandez project isn't really working but he's only 27 he's improving like quite a bit too we've got arbitration the next two years let's let's give him another year let's give him a you know just a just a shot to prove himself that he can do it uh morin's still killing it um i might as well bring him back he's 32 so or he's 30 as well you know still pretty young tyler alexander killed it we've got cody hoyer looks actually like a really good pickup attributes are kind of going up and down though so i might just give him the arbitration year and then we move on and everybody else was solid kayla going down worries me but super cheap deal next year so it's not like it's the worst thing darvish killed it in the last year of his contract paddock killed it we got snell no longer blake smell but um okay all right so lamette's gonna be our fifth starter for the postseason all right what do we got here profar still pretty bad just gonna let him walk shed long 70 at bats i mean he's he's our new bench bat for sure caratini's killing it he had a crazy good year holy cow uh campusano and then what do we got going on here tim anderson i'm gonna keep him like might as well like we got him two more years but i'm gonna drop him in the lineup we got tatis who's going down no 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 we're not doing this mlb he's 24 years old there is no reason at all he should be going down in rating he just killed it with 43 homers um uh, machado had a really good season we've got joey gallo fairly good for him nate low crazy good on base percentage we just got to get that ops a little bit higher hasian kim i'm super disappointed in i don't i don't think he's gonna get much better we've got arbitration and stuff so might as well nola's going down i think this is the time for the caratini campusano platoon now and then we got lewis brinson who cooled off he was having such a good year and he cooled off dang it dude i was hoping he would have popped off and then we got trent grisham killing it so he might be our leadoff hitter for next season but it's postseason time and we just get absolutely demolished by the Doyers. All right, Dodgers win what? Their ninth World Series in a row? It seems like they're just unstoppable. It's just insane. So we we got to pick it up. We got to do better. What do we do here? Taylor Williams, I haven't given you a shot. You're continuing to go up in rating. Let's take the option. Lewis Brinson, you're going down after having... Maybe you're just a bench bat for us. I'll accept that. Eugenio Suarez only had 17 at bats. Didn't do anything for me, so sorry. You gotta go. Um, we'll do another 4.5 mil for Morin. He was no. You're not gonna be the closer though. Sorry, 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 sorry. You know what? Let's let's do two-year club option. Give him the bullpen spot, and then we'll bump it up to like nine mil for the two years. There we go. Profar can go. Rizel sucked, so he can go. Watch him absolutely kill it this year. Caratini. He wants to be a starter. How old is Campusano? 25. He did do really well. All right, let's 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 platoon the two. I'll give Caratini two years. He'll be the everyday guy for two years, and then Campusano takes over or like kind of platoons with the two. Pagan. One more year. We'll give him the nine that he wants. All right, last last couple ones. Denilson can go. Blake Snell. I'll give you two years. I can't. Mm, what's our... Oh, yeah, we can afford it. Two years. You get two years. I'll, I'll just give him the two years. 100%. Uh, 28 mil. Even though I'm really sure he's going to fall off. I just have that feeling. What do we got here? We'll add Haynes. We'll add Wingenter. Maybe Merrill. 
Probably should add Merrill. Arbitration, everybody? Yeah, everybody for sure. And then contracts, everybody. And then when we look at it now, we should have Caratini at the catcher spot. Oh, Nola. I'm going to let Nola walk because he's going down in rating. He's 34 years old. I'm just worried that he's going to pop. Like, just... And that's just what's going to happen. Lineup-wise, we're just going to flip them. Probably look for a starting outfielder in left field. And then... Snell didn't sign the contract because he's greedy and he thinks he's an ace, which we do need one, which I guess he could be our ace. Yeah, we need pitching. We need pitching for sure. So let's get some pitching, probably like one big name. And I think we're good. All right, let's head into season four. You can see our rank. Contact still a little bit of an issue, but like everything else is really good. When we take a look at con or not contracts, transactions. Trans Ooh, what was that? Transactions. We got this catcher here, Lorenzo Chavez, Soler, just purely a bench bat. And then a couple other guys just to fill out the rest of the farm system. Chris Paddock, big, big contract. I think I did six years until he's 34. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, oh, wait, he'll be 35 because after this year. Yeah, okay. Um, What else? We got Tony Lo Losi, Lassie. We've got Michael Rousseau back. Who else? Frankie Montas, super cheap deal, 7 mil. Chris Hunter, 75 overall catcher, who's 19. And then Lonnie White Jr., who's actually in the Pirates farm system. He's been sitting in free agency, so I figured let's pick him up. And um, I think that might be it. I think that's it. So, yeah, this is the squad. Blake Snell came back on a three-year deal. Super expensive, but we might as well have two guys at the top of the rotation who are going to do well for us. Plus, Weathers, Gore, Morion if they develop on top of all the other guys that we've drafted so you guys can kind of see we're we're starting to slowly get those prospects up on top of the prospects that the uh, Padres already had Morin's back we've got Alexander Hoyer Altavilla or Altavilla Pagan and Kayla and then lineup wise this is what we got here I like it Campusano and Caratini are obviously going to platoon Brinson back on the bench where he thrives and then Shedlong Jr. is going to be our guy right here uh left fielder that's the word i was looking for so yeah i like the team again when we look at the depth chart you guys can kind of see what we're working with I, the pitching i'm not worried about we have plenty of pitchers that we've drafted and already in the farm system from the padres but like i've been saying positions are going to be a little bit of a question mark so we'll, we'll have to wait and see i still think we've got some good players though like we've got campusano who's only 25 we've got where is he? We've got, ooh, second base could be a bit of an issue, question mark, depending on how Tatis does. Cause CJ Abrams is here, Jackson Merrill. We've got Ben Ruda, who's actually 28. Probably never gonna use him. But then we got Ornelas, Asokar, Hassel, Lonnie White, Austin Beck, Kavanaugh, Martins. So outfield should be fine. It's just maybe like the infield's a little bit of a question mark now that I'm looking at it. So yeah, the season four. Let's just go through it. So the main two players in this year's draft was Darren Bergman. First base. Looks pretty decent, actually. Um, righty righty, 23 years old, 72 overall. And the other one was a shortstop. It was Peter Hudson. Peter Hudson. It yeah, it was Peter Hudson. The 5'10 shortstop. Righty righty once again, 74 overall. Looks really good. So the Tigers got someone solid. They actually had a pretty good draft. But um, not looking at ours, we've got Ben Lugo. He's 23. I was kind of hoping he would have been a little bit better. Uh, I think he's going to be a huge late bloomer. We got Hunter Cunningham. We've got Lawrence Kenny. They both look massive. Kenny, 6'4". We've got Escobar, 74. 76 for Gutierrez. And then the last ones are like, meh. So let's just focus on the top like five. Not too bad. All right, I'm getting David Bednar of the Pirates, one of the better relievers that we could probably get for pretty cheap. Like, he's he's decent, right? Like, he'll get the job done better than what Morin and Wingenter are doing. And then we still need pitching help because our bullpen is garbage. A lot of fours, high threes. Tyler Alexander forgot how to pitch. He gave us one unbelievable year, and then I don't know what happened. He just completely forgot what like how to pitch. That's really what it comes down to. Um... I mean, I could turn to the the farm system and just be like, let's see if they can hold it down. But like at the same time, 
Uh, let's go out. Let's get one more reliever. Um, who could I get? Who could I get? Who could I get? Who could I get? Ooh, Genesis Cabrera. Super cheap deal. Looks decent. 26 years old. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to send you... Ooh, how's he doing in AAA? Not great. You want him? Definitely sounds like a good deal to me. Ho, oh, ho, what a rob. Um, that should... Yeah, what a rob. What a robbery. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Trent Grisham's kind of struggling in this spot. Um, but I don't really have anybody else I can turn to for the leadoff role, which is super disappointing. So I don't... Ugh. Man, I want to get him out of there. I guess I guess we could use a leadoff guy. So maybe like a left fielder next year. We look to get a leadoff guy, like just a, just a real slappy hitter because that's what we need. So let's see how this goes. We definitely do need contact. Like it's super apparent when you look at the team. So those are the moves for us. Let's get to the rest of the season. All right, so we're back to being a wild card team. And this is the off season where I, I definitely need to invest in pitching. And I keep I think I've said that for the last two, two seasons, but like... We, we have to right like it's just it's it's apparent that the bullpen is is our issue and the issue that uh, and the reason that i haven't really invested in it so far was just because we had mlb ready talent or like players who were just kind of chilling in the farm system and at the same time you know just some of the available options just i didn't want to pay them the 10 12 13 14 15 mil that they were asking for so I felt like it was just best to just rock with what we had or try to find cheaper alternatives to help us out. So, yeah, I think that's where I'm at. So Baez came in, got absolutely rocked. So I might look to let him go. Taylor Williams got absolutely rocked. Anybody, anybody else want to join the party of just forgetting how to pitch? <laughs> he did come up and improve a, a little bit, but outside... Ugh, uh, all right, Morihon, outstanding. Love it. Love to see this. Perfect. Uh, Hernandez didn't pitch at all. Cabrera was good. Bednar, I don't, why is the overall going down? I just picked you up. Don't do that to me. Uh, Hoyer, Altavilla, Pagan, and Kayla. All right, let's see what we got for Paddock. Still really strong. Snell did well. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. our two young pitchers holding it down. And then Frankie Montas. Ooh, okay. Looking at the lineup. Oh, yeah. Soler needed to go down. He was struggling big time. Rousseau was all right. Not a bad bench bat. We got him for arbitration, so it'll probably be another cheap deal. Caratini, not as good. You know, he's still got the same amount of appearances, but for 14 mil, I got to see better. Lewis Brinson, I think, I think our secret weapon has finally, like ended right like we got like two really good years out of it and it just disappeared after that Haseon Kim I don't know man I I don't know like he's getting at bats he's just not doing anything with them and then we got Ben Ruda so on top of Soler who else went down oh we made the trade and sent somebody yeah yeah okay yeah Soler he wasn't bad but no home runs I gotta see better no Trent Grisham no 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 Okay, uh, Tatis. Ooh, okay, okay. I like seeing that. Machado. Gallo struggled a little bit. He's also going down. Ooh, he struggled a lot. Um, Nate Lowe was good. One more year of arbitration for him. Tim Anderson struggling. I think this is a club option, so I might let him walk. Go some, go a different direction. Campusano did well. Shed Long was was all right, but I think he's more suited as a, as a bench role player. So let's just go like that. That works into the offseason. We win. That's a big win. We're going to be taking on the Brewers now. Let's. Ooh. Yeah, we'll go like that. I think our starters in general were really good. As I say that, we don't get eliminated. Big win at the end. All right, cool. Um, We only had one game in between. So like we might as well just hop right in. We lose the first two. Not good lose that one that's tough we just can't beat the dodgers man just can't beat the Do they win a come on this how many world series is that kershaw retires how many what is that four in a row three in a row that's gross stop doing that i'm gonna decline this option i was hoping he would have done well but he didn't um what does he want for a season 
five mil up to out six mil you, you got yourself a deal frankie montas you were fantastic outstanding what does lewis brinson want too much money i can't do it um pagan's good but you can see he is going down soler no thank you okay so currently we're rocking like this right um you know some something like this I'm down to give Morahone the full starting job, save us a little bit of money, cause our budget, our budget's tight. Our budget's real tight. Um, it says 115 mil, but things are gonna start to get pretty tight with some like contracts and things like that. How much does Montas want? I'll think about it, but right now the only offer I want on the table is Kalis. So that that's it. Um, I want to see kind of what else we got going on. You can see Abrams, Hassel, Merrill, Lang, Malone. Plus, we, we, we've got so many pitchers that should be getting some time. I feel bad if I wouldn't give them any. Arbitration, let's give it to everybody. Maybe not Hoyer. Just don't have a good feeling about it. Contracts, this is this is where I'm going to start to be a little bit pickier about who I give a contract to. And then definitely need to booster, uh, booster? boost up that bullpen. Yeah, 100%. So, Morihone's going to slide in there. Hernandez can go there. And then setup guy and two bullpen arms maybe one bullpen arm lineup need some help too oh man i gotta be smarter with the money all right so i had to double check because it's been like a full day since i started recording this video a uh, massive break and i forgot what season we're in so we're about to enter season five and as you can see let me show you the uh the roster history because i even forgot what i did this off season so i just extended trent grisham's contract hopefully it pans out 21 mil yoni chorinos was brought in on a five million dollar deal super cheap love it and then i think that might be it for players i think the rest are kind of just here to fill out the rest of the squad we got Genesis cabrera genesis cabrera whatever it is and when you take a look at the team now I'm liking it. We got some youngsters. We got, you know, decent bullpen here. I'm going to give Tyler Alexander at least half a season. I have faith that he'll turn it around, but he might suck. So let's hope it's he turns it around and not that he sucks. Anyway, so <clears throat> we got Nate Lowe. CJ Abrams is going to get his first major league season. I made him a second baseman because that's probably where he's going to play as long as we have Tatis. And that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Am I miss? I'm not missing anything. Um... I figured with our outfield prospects, spending money on an outfielder, probably not the smartest move. So yeah, at least until like Joey Gallo's gone, because like we have Joey Gallo, we have Grisham, Azokar, Ornelas, we got Hassel, Lonnie White Jr., Austin Beck. And then on top of that, we've got the guys that we drafted in Kavanaugh, and then I made Gerald Martins a left fielder. So we've we've got some young outfielders that we can slowly start to in like integrate into the squad. And that's why I don't want to go out and spend a lot of money, especially since I have a feeling we're going to need to spend money on pitching and possibly like other players once like Machado starts to decrease and potentially a second baseman if either of these guys don't figure it out, you know, things like that. So I want to be smart with our money, uh, especially since we still have five years to go and our budget, we only got 30 mil to play with and it probably won't get much easier. So yeah, that's the squad. I don't think I want to make a trade yet. I'll probably wait till the deadline. So let's get to it. All right. So this is what we got here. We got 71 overall. Kenny Langford, six foot three catcher. Looks decent, right? Like, I mean, good fielding. Hitting stats should improve. I think we got our catcher for the future. Maybe by the end of the rebuild, just in case Campusano doesn't pan out. We got Felix Castillo. Looks pretty good as well. Um, I don't know about Fel Felix Castillo from Canada. Okay. We got Ryan Young, Fred Spangler. Alberto Velasquez, Adolfo Julio, and then Jay Honeywell. We got some interesting names this draft. I'm excited, though. I'm excited. I feel like we've done pretty well prospect-wise, and we're going to start to see some of them get involved. So, yeah. So far, I where are we at? 31 and 25. Pretty competitive division, by the way. Holy cow. We, we're probably going to have to make some moves at the deadline. At the deadline, I need pitching. A lot, a lot of bullpen help. So, I'm going to get Josh Spores of... The Rangers, he was on the trade block, so that's why I'm going to make that trade. You guys saw who was involved, and I, I need, I just need pitching. Like, it is so apparent that I need pitching. So, oof, 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 oof. Tyler Alexander, not great. He's just super disappointing. So, where can I get someone that can help us out, maybe for more than this season? 
he becomes a free agent though so like he's gonna want to get paid junior fernandez not doing well <laughs> i was like oh maybe we found somebody and then he's just doing atrocious what about jeffrey springs has got one more year left on his deal let's give them Ooh, who could i give them uh probably another pitcher david bednar he's not having a great season and then you can also have jerry keel make that deal happen and i think that's probably it now so we'll go chirino's closer we'll have chirino's closer and alta villa can be the setup guy and then i need to call up a couple of our youngsters which actually works out perfectly because he's doing poorly so we'll get rid of him Michelle Baez will get rid of him as well. If he gets picked up by another team, he gets picked up by another team, honestly. I don't, I'm not worried about it. I'm going to call up, let's call up Vincent Fry. We'll call him, I almost said Vicente Fry. Vincent Fry, and I think that might be a pitching wise. Let's see. Oh, I need a long reliever. It's probably going to be, ooh, Reese. We'll call up Reese. And then I need a position player that I can call up. We'll call up this guy. Oh, no, 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 don't designate him. Uh -huh. We'll call up this guy. And I think that's it. I think that should be good. We have a new first baseman there. Everybody's doing okay. Campusano, not so much. But for the most part, everybody's doing well. And pitching-wise, I'm okay with that. All right, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's better. We're, I think, two games out in the wild card. A game out in the wild card. Not too bad. All right, we're a wild card team, and it just wasn't a good season. I feel like we've been kind of backtracking a little bit. You know, lost in the NLCS, lost in the NLDS, lost a wild card NLCS. I feel like we, I just, I still feel like we're underperforming. Like 91 wins is good and all, but like we could do better, right? We could do better. First spot in the wild card. I want this division, like constantly. That's what I want, the division. So league leaders. Mackenzie Gore and Trent Grisham and Machado. I like to see that. And then awards wise, nothing. So I Mackenzie Gore almost won a Cy Young. Ooh. All right. Okay. We got uh two candidates for rookie of the year in where did wait, hold on. Where where we go? All right. So American League, and then we had Ornelas and CJ Abrams. Okay, okay. Pedro Ramirez, I think, was a season one draft pick. So interesting, interesting. All right, so Aaron Leisure, not bad. 27 years old, definitely need to get some more time. Uh, I'm going to let him go. We have him under the contract, probably going to flip him next season in a trade. Jeffrey Springs was good. Spores was good. Vincent Fry was good. Alta Villa, fantastic. Jake, or Jagger didn't get time. And then Yoni Chirinos is going down. Uh-oh. Please no. <laughs> not after I just gave him a contract. Uh, Chris Paddock was outstanding. Blake Smell going smelly on me. One more year on his deal. Weathers was good. Gore was good. And Morihone struggled a little bit. He'll, he's still improving, though, at 26 years old. I'm not too worried about it. Offensively, Caratini struggled. And that's about it. Offensively, I think uh, uh, the first baseman was sent down. And so was Shed Long. Okay, Shed Long actually wasn't too bad. I don't think Michael Rousseau was that bad either, but they sent him down anyways. Okay. So interesting. Not too sure why, but yeah, someone else was sent down too. Oh no, it was just Shed Long. Cause Shed Long was our outfielder for that, that game. So, or this lineup, I should say. Trent Gershom. I, like seeing those stats go down is like, why? Is it maybe durability or something? What's, what's the durability here? 72, 80, I don't know. Tatis is going down as well. We got Machado who had a fantastic season. Gallo on base percentage was good. 33 home runs. 28 for Nate Lowe. He's just been super consistent, right? Nothing outstanding, but he's he's been he's been consistent. CJ Abrams was was alright. I definitely expect him to continue to improve. Campusano's struggling, but we do have a couple catchers now in the farm system that look like they could take over. And then Hassel and Ornelas. Ornelas could have won rookie of the year. He had a great season. So Let's get into the postseason. The Phillies, they beat us 5-0. All right. Okay. Dodgers win again. Like, what is that? Five? Five straight World Series? I'm pretty sure they won every single one this rebuild. Uh, Caratini can go. Save us some money. And what do we got here? Let's add Bearden. For sure. I don't want to lose him. 25 years old, 79 overall. Definitely want to keep him. Joey Hutton, same thing. Let's get let's get let's start getting him kind of mixed into the team. 
Justin Lang. Get yeah. I got a lot of first. I got a lot of pitchers. We got to figure that out. Probably start flipping some players to get younger players now, right? Like start trading players that are like fringe MLB guys that we're not going to use. Let's start getting our farm system a little bit more stacked so we can still prep for the future. Arbitration. I think I'm going to let Shed Long go. We just have guys who are similar, if not better, and probably bring back everybody except for Brosso because I don't think we need him. Contracts everybody, and then free agency. A little tight on the money. And then looking at the team, we don't we don't need anything off or lineup or pitching wise. Lineup wise, Ornella starts every day. I don't know. I might I might be cheap this offseason. Who's who knows? Unless I can get like Jordan or something crazy. So I'm thinking about it. Yeah, Jordan's available. Yeah, Vladdy is available. I'm thinking about just trying to ship off some of the deadwood here. So maybe someone like a Ben Ruda or like James Norwood, Michelle Baez, players like that. And just try to get like players like Roger Newman, young player relief arm for us that we could kind of mold for the future. So there's one trade. Let's get rid of Baez now. And let's just kind of look for the same thing because like relievers are pretty tough to come by in the future anyways, once you start getting a little deep into saves. So I'm just trying to find players who potentially could help us out in a season or two. You know, maybe like a James Ortiz, 23 C potential could be good, could be bad, but like at least we could have him for a couple years, let him develop. And who, who knows? He could be, he could be pretty, pretty good in the future. That's what I need. I just need someone that could like help us out. And if anything, save us some money. Um, we'll give him him. And you know what? You can have James Norwood too. I'll give you both. And who else? Probably give him Camarena. He wasn't bad this year. I guess we could try to use him. Maybe if put him into the team a little bit i think that might be it i think that was a, a couple players that i wanted to get rid of so now i'm just gonna try to stack the farm system or try to get some fringe players that can help us out maybe some bench bats because it looks like we do need a couple of those all right so to start season six i'm kind of just looking for some prospects um i'm stuck between two santiago tejeda another lefty bat which i'm realizing we are so lefty heavy but that power that power is drawing me in another one i want is gene hippern Yep, Gene Hipper and switch hitter, 26 years old. He's got one year or one more option available in his contract. So he would have to be in the majors next year. And I was just kind of looking around for random players. Glenn Dow was a name that I was like, ooh, okay. We could get Antoine Ortiz, pretty close to my namesake. Intriguing, can play a couple different positions. But um, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Gene Hipper. I don't have to get rid of E Guy Rosario. What what are these names, by the way? E guy Rosario, Jose um, Jose Asukar. I'm gonna get rid of because I'm realizing we have a plethora of outfielders. I moved Lonnie White to left field. We've got Hassel back. We still got Kavanaugh, Martins, and then I was able to so, uh, sign Jordan and Wagwu, um, and a couple other players. Khalil Watson was chilling in free agency, but let's stick to Gene Hippern and uh, let's bring him into the team. I think I'm gonna send him. Yeah, we can keep him up. We actually could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can keep him up. Um, ooh, we don't have an outfielder now. Oh, Ty oh, Tyler Malone can play catcher and outfield. Okay, so there. We have our backup outfielder. So we're set. Yeah, we're fine. I mean, I was considering calling up either Hassel or like Podorski or Lonnie White Jr. Probably Hassel. But you know what? If that works, that's cool too. So let's talk about this team. I'm thinking about getting rid of Blake Snell. He's just not good in franchise. And we've got so many other lefty pitchers. We're lefty heavy pitching and we're lefty hit, uh, heavy hitting. We're just a lefty squad, which is clearly the inferior hand. And like, if you think about it, like the world's just not made for lefties. Everything's made for righties. So maybe that's why we're not doing so well. Maybe it's just because we have way too many lefties. I think that's the case. We, we got to change that. I'm looking at it now. We got to change it. There's too many. Okay, I found who I wanted. I, I was going through top prospects. I saw this guy's picture. We're making it happen. Where is he? Andreas Cabrera. First off, cr good name. Andreas Cabrera. Like, that is, I like that. 23 years old, 76 overall. And let me, you gotta be, Rex, he's got the Rex specs. He, I'm telling you, he's the next best thing. All right, like next big thing. I don't even care if we're giving up too much here. 
you can have Blake Snell. Uh, Andreas Cabrera, we're going to make sure that you didn't get called up to the majors. You did. That's okay. We'll send you down to AAA. We've got 97 other pitchers we can turn to. Honestly, we might just go maybe like Leisure. Kind of rock like that. It doesn't really sort out the whole 9,000 lefties in the team. But let's see. Is David Ward? Yeah. We'll call him Lil Poppy because Big Poppy's already been taken. So Lil Poppy's joined the squad. He's going to be in the majors this season. And what I'm going to do is let's rock. Yeah, let's rock an extra setup guy. Let's go Jeffrey Springs with Alta Villa there. And then that way we just have a little bit of extra depth for the bullpen. A little, little bit of help, a little bit of backup. We're still like lefty, 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 lefty crazy with the, the lineup. But it'll sort itself out. We got a couple expiring contracts. And that's why I didn't spend a lot of money this offseason. Because just in case I wanted to spend some money, we'd have the money available. Plus, I'm a little worried Tatis is going to continue to decrease. So with that in mind, I was like, well, we're going to have his contract. We might have some other contracts. And so if he continues to decrease, we might have to put him on the bench. And then we'll have to pay somebody else to come in and take his spot potentially. So, yeah, that's that's my thinking. That's my whole logic behind it. I mean, the team's looking good. I think I've covered everything else. I brought in Trace Pereira to be our backup catcher. We got him through a trade. Khalil Watson, free agency. And then Howie Buxton. Oh, this is Eric Thames reincarnated. I, I kid you not. Free agent, 22 years old. He's six foot five. He's a righty, not a lefty. But he plays first base, can play the corner outfielders. Look at those hitting stats. Oh, yes. Even looks like even looks like Eric Thames. I'm telling you, that guy's gonna be good. And then of course we got uh, Jordan Iwagu. Um, eh, you know, we'll see what happens with him. But yeah, that's his squad. That's the squad. Let's uh let's finally let's finally dive into this season. We got 26 men. Lineups are all situated and ready to go. I brought back Ha Young Kim. I actually let him go to free agency. I signed him back because he was still sitting in free agency. And on top of that, I needed some some uh, help off the bench. So let's see how it goes. That's the squad. Let's get into it. Probably the last draft I'm going to show you guys. We've got Carlos De La Cruz, Mac Mejia, Darren Musel, Mario Perez, Felipe De Jesus, and then Larry Sanchez. We'll see. Uh, I mean, this is probably like the last draft class that has a chance of featuring because this is what season six now so i unless we get a crazy like draft in uh the seventh year or the eighth year with like a 72 or 73 overall player i doubt we're gonna see any other players make the make the team so probably the last draft class i show you team's looking good so might as well finish off the year all right we're back on top of the division 162 finally back on top have we actually have we been have we won the division I feel yeah we did okay so we have we have okay so i didn't even look at the other stats um joey gallo and mackenzie gore look like they kind of were our main league leaders uh, for standings though some interesting ones uh it looks like the west has finally started to cool off a little bit and then we take a look at league leaders we already saw that it was uh mackenzie gore for pitching he had an unbelievable season if he didn't win cy young he didn't unreal he got robbed joey gallo have yourself a season um one more year on his contract so first off what kind of year is that and where has that been all rebuild dominic smith killed it in the al along with michael conforto two former met oh three former mets oh okay walker bueller on the white Sox. you got brady singer how how is he not winning cy young with those numbers you can't no you can't tell me Brady Singer, what? Ah, oh, he got robbed. Devers, Seager, okay. What else? Reliever of the year, nobody in the National League, apparently. And then rookie of the year goes to Tristan Casas and Christian Santana. Okay, okay. All right, let's take a look at pitching now. I have a feeling some, some did well, some didn't. We got Jagger Haynes, 13 innings, I'll take it. Uh, Joey Hutton didn't get any time, but I'm looking at his control and then his hits and walks per nine. He's probably going to strike out a crazy amount of players, but I think he's also going to walk a lot. I think he's going to allow a lot of hits. So that's why I, I like that we drafted him, but I don't know if he's going to be good. Alta Villa struggled. <sighs> Jeffrey Springs, okay. 
Vincent Fry, come on, I need better than you. The ERA, you're allowing too many runs. Too many runs there. Genesis Cabrera was solid, and then Yoni Chirinos. So, Lil Poppy got sent down, and let's see what happened. Oh, potential and overall went down. He got absolutely shelled. We've got a bunch of pitchers here, so, like, I don't, I'm not worried about, like, losing any. Chris Paddock slowly going down, which sucks because we still have three years left on his contract. But Kenzie Gore's killing it. We've got Ryan Weathers, who's doing very well. Adrian Morihone, solid as, like, a four or five. And then Camarena moved from the long relief spot to the starter and killed it. Absolutely fantastic. So, we've got, we've got, we don't need to spend money on starting pitching at all. If anything, we need, we need bullpen help, which... I don't know what we're going to do about that. Uh, let's see. Who got sent down? Uh, who got sent down? A oh, Abrams. Okay. This team. We, we're going to have the best starting pitching ever seen in the world. Like It's going to be beautiful. This is going to be like from the first spot to the fifth spot in the rotation. It's going to be amazing. But then everything else is crumbling and very, very quickly. So, Haseon Kim didn't really do anything. You got Tyler Malone. He looks okay, but he's definitely more of just like a bench back guy. Like, that's what he's suited to, right? Jackson Merrill struggled. Only 100 appearances. He's still 23, so he's got time to develop. You've got Trace Barrera was just a backup, so whatever. Khalil Watson didn't get any time. Oh, wait. He had one at three, ga three games, no at-bats, and scored. Okay. Robert Hassel's here too, so we, we've still got some young guys who are developing. On top of that, we've got like Hipburn now, who got sent down after being pretty bad. Um, but they, you got Abrams, Buxton, we've got this catcher that we drafted a few years back. Oh, uh, like he's now he's not developing anymore. Oh boy. Um, but then look at Grisham's going down at the age of 29, even though he's still doing very well. Tatis is going down at the age of 27, even though he's having very good seasons. You can see in his attributes, everything's going down. Um, Machado's starting to go down. This one I'm okay with. He's been in the league for a long time. He's 33 years old. I understand this one. Gallo, he's holding his rating. That's good to see. Nate Lowe, he's holding his rating. That's good to see, but he's a free agent. So now we're in a little bit of a pickle. We've got Ornelas, who had a good year last year. Still improving. Like He's 24. Still got time to develop. Campusano, he's not really doing much. It's just like, I can't. Uh, at the beginning, I felt like our pitching was letting us down. Now our lineup's letting us down. I can't catch a break here. Players are starting to decrease. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. We've still got Machado for th two years, Tatis for like eight. We've got Grisham for the rest of the rebuild. Like, three players that I wanted to be the core that built this team around are now starting to decrease and. They're going to be on the bench by season nine, you know, like possibly next season, right? They could be like 70s next season and I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So I don't know what to do with this team. Uh, I feel like I'm in a very bad spot. <laughs> like I'm in a lot of trouble. So we'll have Jackson Merrill play second base for the postseason. And like the pitching should be able to carry us as we probably lose here to the the Dodgers because the Dodgers are just programmed to win every single series every single year no matter what like let me go see what their team is because there's no chance that they're better than me pitching wise like okay it's good right like Mitch Keller shouldn't have beaten us and like their bullpen's okay it's just a bunch of starters and then looking at their lineup like how did we lose how did we lose probably because Tatis is non-existent Machado, non-existent. The Twins finally beat the Dodgers. Oh, man. I'm going on my daily rant about this mode, which sucks. Uh, anyways. Anyways. Joey Gallo, come back. Please, don't leave us. Nate Lowe. I want to see what other first basemen are available. Just because we've had him for, what? Like, the whole the whole rebuild, essentially. Since season two. And we, we have Malone. We got Howie Buxton coming up soon. So, maybe maybe it's time to just move to a different first baseman plus i don't know how much longer he's gonna hold his rating and i don't want to give him a long-term deal especially when we're already losing players um springs i'll do two years how, how does that sound are you cool with two years I'll, I'll give you the money you want i'll give you 11 mil i'll even bump it up a little bit altavilla's going down so let's move on from him 
Joey Gallo declined it. <sighs> Come on, man. How much money you want? 25 mil. I'll give you one year. I'll give you 30 for a year. It's probably a really stupid idea, but let's do it. Let's do it. Let's shake hands. Let's get this contract over and done with. Hopefully he signed. Otherwise, we're in trouble. He signed. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right, so he came back. Ooh, what's this position? This is first base. So first base, pitching, we're set. I'm not, I'm not even going to bother. I might look at moving some starters to reliever. And then we got some nice looking players that are available for free agency. So I'm going to spend some money. We've got a little bit to work with. I might have to trade away some of the core guys that I want to build this team around or I wanted to build this team around. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so I was looking through free agency and it's it's not just Tatis, it's not just Trent Grisham, Acuna's fallen off at six years in the majors and like a lot. And he didn't even have a bad season. Again, he's just he's just falling off. Um let's see, there was somebody else that I saw that is also kind of taking a little bit of a hit. Cabrian Hayes is a little bit. There's there's a couple others, but yeah, like I, I saw that and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. The fact that Acuna is starting to oh dylan carlson was as well after he just had a, a fairly good year almost a 300 average so yeah it, it's just I, I i can't really i can't really invest in a player long term if i'm only going to get three years out of them before they start to fall off so it sucks but i might just have to be a cheapskate and literally just try to continue building through what prospects we have already still in the off season i was actually going to trade for vladdy but he's another one of the guys that fell off a little bit after having a, a pretty good season. You can see his numbers are starting to go down a little bit at the age of 28, and he still had a really good year. Is it comparable to his last three years? No. Is it a little bit quieter than previous years? Of course, but is that a signal of a decline even though he still had a pretty good season? I don't know. I don't know. But um, let's move on to who I do want. I wanna go to the Phillies for a first baseman. His name's Juan Barrios. He's 27, good discipline, decent vision, decent clutch his power versus righties is pretty low but like he's got everything else that i'm looking for in a first baseman still fairly young as well so maybe if he doesn't work out we can always turn back to howie buxton but i was looking at buxton's numbers i want his vision and discipline to at least be in the 60s before we call him up so maybe we call him up next year and like i said tyler malone he's decent but i feel like he's more of a bench bat for us so let's get juan barrios just because his contact numbers are really good i like the looks of that I'm going to trade Leisure, who just really doesn't have a place in our rotation, and then Adam Scott. So I'm looking through free agency, and I'm realizing teams are starting to hit, like, their their budget. You know, Acuna's still available. Do I take a shot on him? We could use an outfielder. You know, you look at left spot. Ornelas was a little disappointing. Joey Gallo leads after this season. Grisham, is he on the decline? We've still got plenty of outfielders, though, even the ones that we've drafted. So, like... I feel like it kind of takes away from bringing like it would take away if I brought in new guys knowing that we have players already but there's a lot of good outfielders available Benny Montgomery just got drafted in real life this year Colton Kaiser went to the Orioles this year in real life um who I mean there's more too there's just there's a lot of good available outfielders that I could have picked up Brady House is available I feel like this is an opportunity that I shouldn't pass up but again, we have Khalil Watson, who got drafted in real life this year. Jackson Merrill, who got drafted in real life this year. So as much as I want to go in for these guys, realistically, it just doesn't make sense. It's just going to create a cluster of players that we just don't need. But there's a lot of good players there that are available. So let's see if they get picked up. I hope they get picked up from a team just on a, a super cheap deal. And let's get to the Rule 5 draft and see what happens. All right, so this is going to be the last year where I let a lot of players kind of test out their season. So what is this is season seven, I believe. Let's see here. One, two. No, wait. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to be year seven. And so let's see here. We got Grisham locked up, Tatis Machado. These three are locked up. So like trying to replace them. We could trade them away, but at the same time, we'll see what happens, right? Joey Gallo leaves. We'll give Barrios like one or two seasons. But like Abrams, Ornelas, and Campusano, they're they're kind of on their last leg, right? Like I gave Abrams a full season last or two seasons, and he hasn't hit above 270. His on base percentage has barely been above 300, and I I want to give him a shot. But at 25, we don't have many years left in the rebuild. We've got Jackson Merrill here, who looks like he could really do some work in the lineup. And to be honest, uh, 
uh, how old is he? 24, 25. All right. We'll, we'll give Abrams this season. And if it doesn't work out, we'll turn to like Jackson Merrill or we'll just sign a new second baseman. We've got Hipburn, Malone, Merrill, Lonnie White Jr., and then Casto, the catcher who did lose some potential last season. And you can see we've got players waiting. We've got Langford. We got Watson, who's really not developing well. But um, Hassel, I need those hitting stats at least in the 70s before I give him a shot, which sucks because he's like 25, 26. I want to get him into the team. And you look at our pitching rotation. We, we've got we've got pitchers waiting to get their call up too. I made a couple players relievers. Um, so like Reese is now a reliever, a couple other guys. And I don't remember who I actually did make relievers. But um, basically any starter that had like 70 or below for stamina, I made a couple of them relievers but then when you look at our starting rotation it's really good and then the bullpen a couple guys do leave at the end of the year so yeah this is kind of like a make or break year for a couple people and if they don't do well i'll just let them walk in free agency our budget's going to be super healthy next year so we can go out and pick up a player if we really need to i'll show you guys the depth chart just to get an idea of like what our team could look like for the rest of the rebuild so this is gonna be season eight this would be season nine and then season 10. So you can see we have the young players to kind of fill up those gaps that are going to be like opened up from players leaving. But at the same time, we could probably use some more depth. So or like MLB quality depth. So let's see how it goes. We're ranked third. We should be competing for a World Series. We haven't made one yet in all six seasons. So hopefully this is the year. So we won the division on a tiebreaker, 91 and 72. We had to beat the Dodgers in a one game kind of playoff there. And yeah, you can see our ERA went up a little bit. I changed up a couple players because like Camarena was dropping it overall. So I replaced him. He was actually having a really good season. It was just, he was, it was quickly dropping. And then a couple other guys were having bad seasons. So I kind of tweaked the lineup just a little bit. But outside of that, I didn't make any changes to the team in terms of trades or anything like that. So league leaders, none, unfortunately. But we do have an award. Rookie of the year went to Jagger Haynes or Jaeger Haynes. Okay. I like to see that. I like to see that. Jake uh, Jackson Joby. Job? Job. Joby. Whatever it is. Anyways. Jackson Jackson Juan Kenobi. Whatever his name is. We He, he uh, was in the Cy Young contention, which is cool to see. I like seeing some of the guys that got drafted in real life this year start to make a name for themselves. We've got Barrios. Hoyt Lopez was what? Season one or season two? Ooh, 23 so yeah actually no 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 he'd be season two or season three maybe and then uh we got haynes there so let's take a look at the team because i'm assuming something's got changed up they did uh so morihone got sent down oh wow what happened he's still going up in rating he does become a free agent this year but like he's been so hit or miss for us so I think we just like he's really good i think he could be a really good pitcher for us it's just we we have other pitchers like 82 81 camarena went down to a 79 but like i said he had a really good season um it's just i was i was worried he was gonna tank uh mitch leave it he had a really good season really good season why is he getting sent down i i automat like i actually i didn't hit auto uh auto lineup so automatically fix the lineups by the cpu this time i i went through every single time that the notification came up and i changed it so i know josh had a bad season that's why i sent him down um i call this guy little poppy he's now little poopy because he stinks he's so bad we can't we can't use him leave it did well and then when we take a look at our team here reese i did make a, a relief pitcher he actually looks decent um he is 30 though so we gotta be a little a little wary on if he he will develop much more i gave joey hutton some innings we'll see how he does he'll, he'll continue to improve he's like number one for top prospects in baseball right now justin lang didn't get any time jeffrey springs is good we got him for one more season sammy morales i believe was a starter and i made him a reliever so he actually looks really good as a reliever vincent fry fantastic season cabrera oh dang is he still going up in rating though? I might offer him a contract because as like, yeah, we've had two bad seasons, but at the same time, he's going to be one of the better arms available. He's still fairly young. I have faith in him. And then uh, Andreas Cabrera and Yoni Chirinos. We got a lot of pitchers, probably too many pitchers to be honest. So let's go. Let's give Justin Lang some time in the lineup or in the rotation. And then we'll call up um, who got sent down, who got sent down. It was leave it, leave it had a great season. And then we'll send down Cabrera. For the postseason so that should actually sort out our 
our bullpen for the for the postseason. They're perfect. All right, lineup wise, I know Abrams had a terrible year. I'm just gonna let him walk. I'm I'm at that point where like it's just probably easier to let him walk than try to trade for players right now, and then that way we can sign whoever we want. So Gene Hippern had a really good season, but yet he got sent down. Um, mm, I don't like seeing that. We just traded for him. Actually, he just doesn't have power. He did strike out a lot, though. So we do have Howie Buxton. And Howie Buxton, you know what? I tried to give Barrios a shot. Howie Buxton's younger. Maybe he's the guy for us. And I think those are the two that got sent down. Was Barrios, Hippern, and wait, where's CJ Abrams? Oh, he actually got, he actually stayed up. So looking at the rest of the team, bench as per usual, kind of a, kind of a letdown. Let's see here. We'll put him in the DH spot and then we'll talk about the team. Trent Grisham going down at the age of 30. Sick season. 40 doubles, 172 hits, almost a 400 on base percentage. Tatis is going down. A, had a really good season as well. Okay. Machado, he's he's continuing to go down. He's 34. I fully under, understand that one. I might look to replace him though. I'll put him on the bench, but it's time probably to look for a third baseman. Joey Gallo's falling off as well. Like this is kind of working out for us where we can let some of these younger guys come in. CJ Abrams, I'm probably just gonna let walk. Yeah, he's gonna have crazy trade value, but let's just let's just try to sign somebody in free agency. Ornelas is good. That's probably our left fielder for the future. And then Robert Hassel, I might I might let him be the center fielder. And Campusano, of course, on your contract year, you decided to have a decent year. How is Langford hitting stats aren't there? And then Casto's not good. So may, maybe we do stick with Campusano, unless there's a crazy catcher available in free agency. So um, lineup wise, this is first base. Mm. Apparently Robert Hassel can play first base. I'm gonna say no, we'll just go Tyler Malone. Cause like Hepburn can't play first either. Um, Juan Barrios, man, you had a tough season. I'm gonna give him the shot though. Let's let's just give it to him. Let's call him up, and then we'll send down Estudio Ruiz. And then where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? We'll do this really fast. We'll send him there. He was here. This we can give to. You know what? We'll give Robert Hassel the DH spot, and boom, we'll go like that for the postseason. So, taking on the Brewers, and come on, Rookie of the Year. There we go. We're just not going to let Justin Lang pitch here. We'll go Mackenzie Gore. Boom. We lose again, man. Ah, uh, the Dodgers again. This is this is just the Dodgers. This this should just be the the Dodgers own the MLB for the rest of time. That's just really what it is. Um, actually, Machado's is an option. Okay, sorry, Machado, you're gone. Gallo's gone. Cabrera. Oh, Jeffrey Springs. I'll take the option. It's super cheap. It's five mil. Yoni Chirinos. I'm gonna pass. Cabrera, how much do you want? Ooh, three mil. Two years. I'll bump it up to seven for the two years. I'm closer. We'll think about. But I'm okay. Ooh, actually, since it's so cheap, let's go three years. Let's do the rest of the wait. 8, 9, 10. Yeah, rest of the rebuild. I'll bump it up a little bit. There we go. And then we'll let the rest go. That actually saves us a crazy amount of money. Okay. How much do we have to spend now? A almost 180 mil? Okay. Not a lot of crazy good players available in this free agency, which is a big letdown. But at the same time, we have players that we can turn to. Pitching, we're set. Apparently, I have one more year of Adrian Morihone, which is which is good. And so pitching, I don't want to spend any money on. We have so many relievers, starters. We can we can pick whoever we want. Catcher, Campusano. I guess I have arbitration for one more year. We'll stick it out. Maybe Langford has a crazy season and develops. Let's see. First base. I'm gonna go Howie Buxton. I'm probably gonna let Malone walk. Like he's been good for us. Ooh, actually. Mm, I'll figure this. I'll figure this out. But Buxton is my first baseman. Abrams is done. He's he's gone. Um, third base. We could turn to Hippern. We give him a shot at 28 years old. Just give him the full season. He had a he had a, a lot of games this year. 115. Hmm. He had a really good year. Maybe it's Hippern, Hippern season. Gene season. Um. Man, Tatis is killing me, dude. Tatis is really killing me. Uh. I want 
so this is our outfield right right here i'll figure it out i do want a big splash though in free agency who's it gonna be maybe a second baseman because we we do kind of lack that position let's see what we can get second base is my target all right next season i'm getting rid of chris paddock i didn't realize he was falling off as much as he was um, I'm going to go to, I think it was the Brewers that I was talking to about a pitcher, Esteban Carrera. Uh, yeah, we're just doing it. It's a salary dump. They can have Chris Paddock. And I was looking at it. We, we've got so many pitchers. Like, we've been pretty good with our pitchers. Most of these guys, I think Cabrera was like one that we traded for. And I think the, at least starters wise, I feel like everybody else has been like self-sustaining, right? We've either drafted them or they were already on the Padres. Bullpen, I know we've had to dabble a little bit in free agency. We've made a couple trades. But for the most part, I feel like we've been pretty self-sustaining pitching-wise. Outside of pitching-wise, I know we've gone out and gotten a couple players, signed a couple players, and, uh, of course, traded traded for some players too. But um, I'm just going to start to kind of clear out some of the players I just don't want and try to just get some farm system guys. That's some prospects. That's the word I'm looking for. And really just whatever if if they're good they're good if not whatever I'm, I'm really just looking for players to kind of fill out the farm system a little bit more and also you can kind of notice there really just aren't too many young prospects right a lot of them are 25 26 27 and even the young ones aren't really that good so like for franchise it kind of seems like you know you start hitting around year 10 and it's pretty difficult to find find prospects like this guy we know about because he was drafted season one or season two somewhere around there but like you look at it it's it's kind of difficult to find prospects and if you look at all the top prospects in baseball all like a majority of them are in their mid-20s right like at that point you're expecting them to be in the majors and a lot of them are still in the minors which again that's just a huge problem with them will be the show where it it, it's just it's, it just becomes kind of like a cluster where it just becomes a mess and chaos where a lot of players they just never make it to the bigs or they just sit in the farm system and they sit in the farm system and they sit in the farm system until they're like 30 and then they're just not used anymore so i don't know it kind of sucks uh i'm doing the same thing with my pitchers right like i've got 27 year old 26 29 27 that haven't made the bigs yet and it's just because i've been able to use the players that I already had, right? And I even made some of them relievers so that I could use them. You know, Sammy Morales, uh, Reese, I made him a reliever. And yeah, I've also gone out and picked up a couple of players just because I, I want to be competitive, right? I've tried to use Luis Campusano and up until last year, he's been kind of a bust. And a lot of you guys have been like, don't use the guys that you've drafted, use the guys that are already in the team. Well, this is kind of the problem, right? It just takes too long for the guys that are already in the team to develop and sometimes the guys that I draft develop better. Like CJ Abrams, one of the top prospects in baseball, just isn't doing it. I've given him three full years. And even at the age of 26, I, I, you know, I've got other players that I can use. So speaking of CJ Abrams, let's get him out of the team. I'm noticing we're lacking a little bit of power in this team. And I'm thinking about moving uh, Hipper into second base and then getting a really good bat. Um, Jackson Merrill looks good as well. We could try Jackson Merrill at second. And then maybe just kind of have like a lower rated team. Because you can tell like this team, it's it's lacking something. We have Tatis and Grisham. But like outside of that, like it's it's lackluster. No more Machado, no more Gallo. We just don't have that that same, that pop in the lineup. You know, we've got, the pitching's good. Like I'm not worried about that. The pitching will hold it down. But the pop, we've, we're last in power. We need some power. All right, so I looked up some players that have some pop in the lineup, right? And like most of them are outfielders, which I feel like we don't need. You know, I've looked at I looked at what we have, and we have all these guys is here. We have Kavanaugh, who I want to get into the team at one point, and then we also have Gerald Martins, who I think could be our Grisham replacement at the top of the lineup. That's essentially what I'm looking at with him. So I feel like. We need an infielder with the, the criteria that I just sorted. And the two guys that I saw that really stood out to me, I went to like, I think I did 75 or something like this. And then we'll we'll bump this up to, what was it? Power versus righties. And we'll, we'll do like that. So outfield, 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 outfield. Gorman, Renato Nunez. And then I think I actually have to bump it down a little bit more to get Wander Franco in the mix. Um, who actually should be, what, 27? 
A lot of prospects' ages are wrong in MLB The Show. I don't... You know. Anyways, so Pete Alonso is here too. We could get Pete Alonso, but at 33, I'm not really looking for that. So I feel like really the only players that kind of fit what I'm looking for are Nolan Gorman or Wander Franco. Wander Franco. So they're both about the same age, 25, 26. Do I go for the shortstop potentially to replace Tatis? And then maybe he could play second base until Tatis is ready. Or... Do I go with Gorman, who could play second or third, and then we have our second or third baseman lined up? So I'm, I'm like, oh, I know Tatis is going to continue to decrease, but you know, do we go Khalil Watson? Do we go Jackson Merrill to replace them? And then then we still then we still have Wander Franco to play second or third, right? We also have Gene Hippern. So, hmm, I feel like I get uh, Wander a lot. I feel like I have. So you know what? Let's get let's get Nolan Gorman, who's the second baseman. I forgot what team he played for. Does he is he still on the Cardinals? I don't think that's right. Where is he? Nolan Gorman. He is still on the Cardinals. All right, it's gonna be a simple trade. I know C.J. Abrams is gonna get the deal done. We'll just go straight up with that, and then he actually has his contract expiring. So let's give him a deal, and then we'll backload it. We'll give him seven years, even though we're only gonna be here for a little bit more, and then that gives us a little bit of pop in the lineup. That, that actually works out perfectly for us. So we got Nolan Gorman now. We, we still have Gene, the hitting machine, hopefully, fingers crossed. If not, we've got some players in the farm system. And now because of that, we should be able to call some players up. So let me get the lineup and rotation set, and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so looking at contract extensions, Mackenzie Gore, we still have one more year of arbitration. Adrian Morahone, I'm going to wait, right? Because, like, he's been good, but at the same time, like, we, we could do better. Ryan Weathers is a player that I am considering bringing back. I want to see if he does improve, though. Because, again, we, we have a crazy amount of pitchers. I've got this guy, Campusano. Like, a lot of the guys that I'm holding out for, just just to see if they're going to be good or not. Like like I've said, we, we have so much depth pitching-wise that, like, losing a guy or two really isn't going to be the end of us. It's more the outfield and the position players that I'm a little worried about. So... Looking at our team now, you can kind of see we're, we're playing some matchups, right? Like Tatis gets sent to the bottom. He, he gets sent down to the depths of hell versus lefties because apparently he can't hit lefties to save his life. But overall, I don't hate the team. It's, it's clearly, you know, you can see some teams are still kind of stacked. But a lot of these players, I feel like we could do some damage with. We still need some power. We have some really good pitching. Um, but I think Martins could be really sneaky good. I think we could make a couple trades at the deadline too if players just don't do well. I'm giving him till the deadline. If this guy isn't hitting close to 300 with like a 400 on base percentage or something like that, Bux Buxton, Huxton, what's what's his name? Howie Buxton. He's coming up. He also has got a little bit of pop in his bat too, so I'm excited for him. And Gene, potentially we get rid of him, you know, maybe get rid of these guys too. Tatis might even get sent to the bench, to be honest. Who knows? But this is the squad. That's where we're looking like. We're ranked eighth. We have really good contact, really good pitching. It's just the power is not there, which I feel like could hurt us. So let's see what happens in what? Season eight. This is season eight. So we won the division 90 and 72. Decent season. I feel like we, you know, again, pitching is going to carry the team. So, so far, so good. I mean, I like the team. I think we've got some good players now. I feel like we got kind of like a new core to build around. No league leaders or awards. You got Tristan Casas winning. Okay. Conforto. You got Brendan McKay and Seth Romero. Okay. Mackenzie Gore in the mix again for Cy Young. He just hasn't been able to put it together and get that get that title. Man, that sucks. Uh, What else? We got Freddie Franco. Robert Hassel's there, but... I, I looked at Robert Hassel's numbers. I was not impressed at all. Okay. So I know. Let's see here. Esteban Carrera shouldn't have been sent down. What else? Vincent Fry struggled for sure. Sucks to see that. Okay. That's that's a little bit of a bummer. I'm going to call it Carrera though because Carrera was still decent, right? We're going to call him up. You know what? We're still going to call up Fry. Like there's no reason not to. And then Reese will send him down. I sent him down anyways. He was having a tough season. And then we'll send down Bearden. And then um, we'll talk about what we got going on here. Did Bearden even pitch? He didn't. Okay. Justin Lang struggled. Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't really know what it would be. Like, he's got really good per nines. It's just, he struggled a little, a little bit. Cabrera struggled a little bit too. You got Morales who did fantastic. Springs was okay. You know, Fry struggled. We know that. Mitch Leavitt. 
Levitt. It might be Levitt. I think it's Levitt. I just, whatever. Carrera, Cabrera, and then Lang again. So let's see here. I mean, we're going to go Morales as our setup guy. Mackenzie Gore, fantastic. I'm going to pick up that last year of arbitration for sure. Of course, Morihon kills it on his uh, his contract year. Haynes is still killing it. Weathers is good, but he's going down and he hasn't really improved. So he might be the one I let go and then we bring back Morihon. Hutton, actually not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, Hutton, I see you. So it might just be so someone's taking Weathers' spot and then we keep the rest of the rotation the same lineup wise let's talk about this grisham we got to get rid of grisham he can't he can't stay with the team he's he's just decreased ninefold by like every single season jackson merrill i need to get into the team i don't know how i'm gonna do it but he's clearly deserving of a spot um so we're gonna have to figure that out catcher he didn't really pan out austin beck came up for a little bit he was actually decent you know probably a platoon outfielder probably what grisham was meant to be just a platoon guy like that's he's gonna replace grisham as our platoon guy now tatis is continuing to go down he's down to an 80 overall which means as good as a season he had like he's still putting up really good seasons like he hasn't had a bad season any of the years we've had this rebuild but he continues to go down so as much as i want to play him i can't i just can't anymore so he's getting moved to the bench jackson merrill is probably our starting shortstop now uh hipburn was okay but i definitely think we need better so he's probably getting moved to the bench howie buxton i tried to give him some time minimal minimal appearances right it's kind of tough to judge him off this um so we'll see you know maybe give him the starting job next year gorman was a great pickup for us we've already extended his contract so we're good tirso ornelas he's our center fielder like he's he's good barrios did better potential went down but you can see all the stats are going up so i think i think this is our first baseman right i think that's our first baseman lonnie white i took i put him instead of grisham he was okay and then hassle okay right so campusano is not coming back so i'm in need of a catcher because langford just isn't developing quick enough it's it's just not uh khalil watson may, maybe maybe martin's struggled oh man did he struggle <sighs> maybe kavanaugh i don't know we need some power though i don't know what we're gonna do but we need some power which means i, I may just have to start trading some guys that i just was kind of hoping would have panned out and didn't so as we take on the reds we sweep them awesome we're gonna take on the nationals now and we're gonna go to the guys who just absolutely held it down for us yeah right yep 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 perfect okay please don't please don't lose please don't lose please don't lose i can't go weathers here as much as i want to he's been part of the squad since day one okay we're still alive we just we just can't make a world series man nationals defeat the athletics finally the dodgers go down and don't make a world series appearance trout and freeman retired okay how, how much is it a mil i have an idea i have an idea i have an idea where is he he can play left field he's my left fielder he's my left fielder okay so what it's going to be is ornelas in center I, I want Hassel to be so good, but I don't think he's going to be. So we're going to go Ornelas in center. We're going to go Buxton in left. All right, let's just look at it this way. Ornelas in center, Buxton in left, and shortstop is going to be Jackson Merrill. Okay, okay, yep. Third base, he, he was okay, but if I can find a third baseman that just absolutely mashes baseballs, I'm going to I'm gonna turn to him. I think that's going to be my, my target this offseason. If I find another right fielder, maybe. If I find a catcher, maybe. Pitching, we're good. Like, I might look to acquire a bullpen arm. But again, we, we, we've got we've got players. So, like, it, it's not 100% necessary. So, Morihon, I said I was going to pay, right? Did he go up in rating? Oh, yeah, we got to pay him. Let's just give him the money. We'll backload it. And then the rest can go. The rest can go. All right, perfect. There we go. That's, that's exactly what I needed. See, like, we've got Kenny, we've got Escalona, we've got names there. Cunningham for a closer. Perfect. Only a couple arbitration offers. And then free agency, what do we got for outfielders? Um, Elliot Ramos. Elliot Ramos. I, I want Elliot Ramos. 
Yeah, that's gonna be my target. I think, yeah, Elliot Ramos. Uh, no third baseman that crushes baseballs. Vidal Bruhan. Eh, what about a shortstop? Do I just take everybody from the Giants? <sighs> Can I get Elliot Ramos into the team? I could. I could. I could. Okay. Uh, Elliot Ramos is probably gonna be the player I'm gonna go for then. Yeah, I think. I think so. I think it is. All right, there it is. Still in the offseason. I'm going to trade Grisham, Reese, and Williams Sutton for William Yee. Yay? Yeah. It's a catcher. We'll see what happens. Um, Yeah. I think that's it. I think right now. We'll see. I might make more moves. Who knows? All right, so we're about to start the ninth season, and I'm in a little bit of a predicament. I can't afford to extend Mackenzie Gore, which uh, I want to for the last season. I can't. He's the only player that has an expiring contract and I want him back on the team. The only way I could do that is if I get rid of Tatis. I feel like that's like sacrilegious. Like, I feel like you can't do that, right? That's like, you, you, you just can't do that, right? You know what I mean? So, let's talk about this. All right, so. Uh, we've stayed within budget like we even have a crazy amount of money this year We still have 86 million. The issue is I don't have any more money <laughs> After this season, so that's that's where the predicament comes in and the, the actual issue is I don't have any more money later on I wonder if I could extend him for like Like three like three years Could could I just could I just do that and maybe like front load it? Could I do that? I, ca I can't can I do like two years? I can't uh, what about just a, just a normal contract, like for a year? I can't even do that. Mm. Uh, what about like 10 years front loaded, back loaded, normal? I can't, I, I can't do it at all. Um, so yeah, the only way I can do it is if I get rid of Tatis. I like, I feel like that's literally the only way I can do it. And I, I feel I feel like I can't do that. I feel I, I just can't, right? Like that's, but he's he's gonna be like a, a a low seventy after this season, and he's not even gonna start. I got it. I I I, I don't want to, but I, I have to. <laughs> um, I don't I don't know even know what I want to look for to be honest. Um. Can I have this guy, Travis Shantz? I mean, it's pretty close. Uh, I, I feel terrible doing this, but like, it, it, it literally comes down to just the regression system, or progression system, whatever you want to call it, in this game mode. It's atrocious. So, sorry, Tatis. I'm sorry. Um, if this doesn't work now, I'm going to be very upset. I can't. <laughs> I can't make a contract offer. I might be able to in the off season. Um, I'm hoping so. It should open up some money, though. Like, our budget went up. And then our like you can see the budgets for the the remainder of the years. I have money to work with. Uh, it's just for some reason it's not letting me offer a contract. So I'm gonna have to wait till the off season. And I just traded away Tatis. Uh, if I can't, I I I I I gotta be able to sign him back. I just don't see why I wouldn't be able to. That would be just unbelievable if I couldn't. I have the money. Um. So yeah, Tatis is out. We're just gonna rock with. I guess he can go in there. We're good to go, right? 26 men. Yep, we're good. We're good. That's the squad. Here it is in all its glory. I'll show you the contracts just so you guys can kind of see what's going on with everybody. Um, did I sign anybody this offseason? I don't think. Oh, I did. I did. I did. Elliot Ramos. Elliot Ramos. You got a big boy contract. Stolen from the Giants. Merrill's our new shortstop. We got Ornelas, Gorman, Barrios is at third. Hassel's at first because he can play there, and Buxton's in left. That's how I finagled my way to get everybody in the lineup. And then we got Kenny Langford, who I don't think is going to be good. But if things don't go well, we'll go William Yee. Yay. Yeah. Whatever it is. But you can see the team has definitely taken a huge step up, um, and we've, we've improved. So we're third, first in contact, third in power, first in pitching. That's a good-looking squad. 102 and 60, we won the division. Winner of the wild card is our next opponent. There we go. Good ERA. The average is still a little low. Eh. All right, so let's let's see what we got going on here. The only 100 win team in baseball. Like to see that. The Brewers won the division at 79 and whatever the other number would be. 62 saves for Cabrera. Okay. 
Okay, awards. What do we got here? That's it. All right. Um, Jordan with the Phillies is crushing it. Okay. What else we got? Anything crazy? Barrios almost with the batting title. I like that. I like seeing that he's he's starting to put some things together. No reliever of the year on the American League. Makes total sense. Rookie of the year, Bryce Ball with 36 home runs. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> what, did ha what happened here? So Chris Clark got sent down. He was nasty. And you're going to send him down? Levitt, what happened here? And he got sent down too. Why? 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 Just why? That's that's what I'm asking. Um, let's see here. So pitchers that got called up were Lawrence Kenny and Jaime Chassin. Interesting. All right, Cabrera, long reliever. Looks like a pretty good long reliever indeed. Indeed. Dusty Bearden, killing it. I mean, so if we aren't able to get Mackenzie Gore, which would have... Oh, actually, he's going down in rating. It would suck to lose him, but I feel like with Cabrera, we, we definitely have a replacement. So we've got Levitt, leave it, whatever it is. Carrera, great season. Clark, great season. I signed him in free agency, not this season, but the season before. He, he's just been chilling in free agency, though. Uh, Vincent, back on track. Love it. Morales, ooh. Sometimes you just got to change a starter to a reliever, and they're the next best thing. And then Cabrera, lights out. All right, what do we got here? More at <laughs> I paid him and he sucks. Uh, Joey Hutton, why are you going down? No, you, no, don't do that to me. Uh, and then, hey, Haynes is still holding it down. Justin Lang had a good season. I'm actually gonna move Justin Lang up. We're gonna go like, we're gonna go like that. We're gonna, we're gonna go like that. All right, lineup wise. Who did we lose? We lost Buxton? No. I had such good hopes for this guy, and he's letting me down. How did Martins do? Also, not not doing it. Not doing it. Sucks. Sucks to see that. I think that's that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of shuffling to the team to sort this out. Um, but let's just let's take a look at the team. I'll do it in a second. So, not bad. Eh. Lonnie White, good bench bat. I'm telling you, like, he's killing it off the bench. Kavanaugh, and then that... Oh, Khalil Watson. Meh. Uh, Jackson Merrill, what do we got going on here? Okay, season, okay, season. Ornelas, no, don't fall off. I just gave you the starting job. Don't do that. Elliot Ramos, decent season for sure. Still putting up good numbers. Ugh, all these moves, man, and they're backfiring. Barrios is doing well. Hassel was... Oh, <sighs> It's just, it's not what I want. <laughs> like, come on, don't, don't do that to me. Like, I, I put faith in all these players. Like, we made the changes. We got rid of Tatis. And what happens? Everybody just falls apart. Who did we trade Tatis to? I don't even remember. Who did we, who did we trade him to? We traded him for a catcher. I don't remember who we traded him to. The Yankees, he's down to a 75. He didn't even play in the majors this year. All right, whatever. All right, postseason time, and we're we're gonna lose again. We're we're just we're we're gonna lose. It's already one more season. Let's do it. Um, I'm hoping we have the Marlins defeat the White Sox. I'm hoping we have money to sign Mackenzie Gore. Is it the right move though? It won't even let me. It won't let me look at the player. Um. Let's just use the players we have. Let's just use the players we have. Is it though? Is it the right move? Let's bring him back. Let's bring him back. He's been part of the team for too long. Let's do it. Let's bring him back. He, he's got to come back. He's got to come back. Um. So did he come back? He did come back. Perfect. All right. Bullpen, not a single issue, right? Not a single issue in the bullpen. Long relief were set. Lineups. First baseman. Outfielder? Oh, I oh, Buxton, dude. I thought I thought we had the the man sorted. I thought this was the guy. So maybe a first baseman, or I guess we could go third baseman too, right? Move Barrios back to first. Let's see what's available. Let's see what's available. First baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Tempting, tempting. Uh, Patrick Wisdom. What's that third? Rios, Chapman, Vientos. 
I mean, we're so limited. I, I guess Vaughn, that's that's really about it. Like, that's really our only option. Unless... <sighs> yeah, I mean, that's that's really it. Yeah, I guess, I guess we're going to go Andrew Vaughn. I think that's our solution there. And then just bring back everybody else. Final team. Final season. We're ranked first in every good category i don't care about defense get out of here i don't i don't care look at what we got going on this is this is the squad for sure i have a feeling we're finally gonna make it to that elusive world series i hope <laughs> i don't know i'm so defeated at this point <laughs> um so i mean the thing is like i just i i gave the young guys a chance i tried to keep a core with this team it just never really panned out. And I mean, I always tried to make sure I had the best coaches available. You know, like the ones that I felt like really just helped us out. I tried to get really good draft prospects. I tried to let some of the guys that were already in the farm system develop. Like, I don't know. I just feel like even though I didn't win a World Series, we still put together a really good team. It's just we just couldn't even get close to a World Series. And that that's that's the unfortunate part. So season 10, final, final season. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I, I thought we did really good. I thought we had the team to do it. And I guess, I guess not. So we'll see what happens. All right. Since you guys always say that, I just, I just edited it. Uh, let the auto things handle everything there. I didn't let the, C the CPU do the work for me this time. And I bet you I will still, I will still have things changed. So they have too many pictures. Let's get rid of him. We'll send him down and what i'll do I'll, I'll even call this guy back up to triple a so it's 26 men across the board let's see what happens we might actually have something wrong with double a as well when that pops up but i can guarantee you everything's going to be changed double a don't have a valid lineup that's okay let's let's get that sorted let's see what we got here what do they need they need a shortstop all right larry sanchez you're gonna be playing shortstop for the team if I can get it right, hopefully I can. Um, who was my left fielder? Do we not? Do we not have a left fielder? I don't. I don't know. All right, left shortstop, boom, and then everything's set now. Like there should be no more issues for the rest of the for the rest of the season until September when we have the 28 man call up. All right, we're in September. I need two call ups. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? We're gonna call up Lawrence Kenny. He's he's deserved a shot. He's been ooh same with this guy um buxton i mean we we need him in the team so we're gonna need what a pitcher now so he can just slot he can just slot in here and we should be good otherwise right i think everything else should be fine we're just rocking three long relievers we got the pitching staff all sorted we might actually have too many pitchers now uh we might we might actually have too many pitchers we'll, we'll see um what position is this first base i don't think we have a first baseman available um Ooh, perfect. Uh, where is he? Ben Lugo can play first base. Look at that. Look, look at easy solution there. Easy. Boom. There it is. All right. Finals. Final portion of the season. Let's see what happens. On the division, 92 and 70, taking on the Pirates. Ooh, the Pirates. Okay, I see you. Giants and Phillies, and then you got the Blue Jays, the White Sox, and the Astros, and the Tigers, and the Yankees. No league leaders, unfortunate. Awards though, Cy Young, Morey Hone, and a gold glove for Andreas Cabrera. Okay, okay. I like it, Morey Hone. There we go. P repays us for giving him that contract after some sketchy seasons. For sure. For, <laughs> definitely some sketchy seasons. Um, Eugene Davidson, not Davidson. And we didn't, I, did we, we got one rookie of the year, right? I, f I feel like we did um let's see here chris clark got sent down after once again having a phenomenal season mitch levitt and then estevan carrera so what i'm gonna do here is chastin got called up i'm gonna go back to who was it levitt or carrera no clark clark needs to get called up clark had a, f a great season and they're like nah, 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 nah. He's, he's just not good enough um, and then I'll send down Bearden, unless somebody else was really bad. Yeah, we'll send down Beard. I guess we'll rock an extra pit. No, I can't rock an extra pitcher. We'll send down. We'll send down Cunningham. We'll just we'll do that for now. And now let's talk about this. Let's talk about what we got going on here. Yeah, we'll rock like this. So Hutton, it just looks like this is it's the control, the walks, and the hits per nine. That's killing him. 
and this is what we're gonna get with him. He's he was a decent pitcher, but like, you know, could have could have definitely done better. And then when we look at the rest of the squad, you know, Fry didn't really pitch much, but did did the job when needed. Clark's been good. Morales has been fantastic since we moved him to this bullpen role. And then Cabrera too. I mean, we've been really really good. You look at the starters: Morejon, Gore. Cabrera with the rec specs. I'm loving it. It even matches the yellow with the Padres yellow or gold, whatever you want to call it. I am. He's the dude. He's that guy. Um, so let's see. Bar no. He had a good year. Let's call him back. What are, what are we doing? Why are we sending him down? Get him back in the team. Who got called up? In Wagu? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Get, get my guy. Barrios back in the team so this is what i'm talking about you see you saw every roster move that i made this season every single one of them and you see that the cpu still still to this day changed up my lineup like i've seen so many comments recently like you did auto of course they're gonna change your lineup you see that 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 shouldn't happen anyways um gene hippern I mean, the guy's gotten on base at a pretty good level every single season. It's just he was never an everyday type of guy. Buxton was okay. Casto, Watson. And then there's our bench. Let's see. Jackson Merrill. Again, he, he looks like an everyday kind of guy. Just a really average, everyday kind of guy. Ornelas. Elliot Ramos, solid. And I don't mean, like, he couldn't be good. He's still 27. He could still definitely improve. So, I just was kind of hoping for better. Nolan Gorman. 105 RBIs, numbers aren't there, but it was okay. You know, Robert Hassel turned it up a little bit as the DH. Andrew Vaughn, Lonnie White. Lonnie White, maybe I should have given him more chances. That's probably like the one takeaway I have from this is that I could have definitely given, given him a couple more chances. So I'm going to move Gorman out of the four spot. Maybe move him to the five. See if that helps out a little bit. Maybe go like that. And as we head into the postseason, let's see. We're taking on the Pirates and comes down to hey haynes haynes no it's not going to come down to haynes it's going to come down to the cy young winner moria hone boom there we go we're in to the next round let's move everybody up a day ooh, 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 ooh. don't like seeing that but i have faith i have faith i don't have faith i don't have faith mackenzie gore keep us alive please what what went wrong here starters just didn't give us the 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 like a platform to like to go on right like they just they just let the game slip away too early you know and because of that we just really didn't have a chance offensively weren't fantastic either but i mean let's see here seven runs six runs seven runs like the games we won we held them to a respectable score but yeah i mean it's just didn't really didn't really work i mean the mets did cheat they did use kamar rocker but you know I'm, i don't gonna say anything anyways no world series appearances 10 seasons that's disappointing that's real disappointing ah man this is i like this team dang i'm i'm a little disappointed <laughs> oh man this one sucks 10 seasons no world series i would have been fired like after season five but i hope you did enjoy it if you did hit that like button down below, what we're going to do is I'm thinking about doing a 20 year rebuild. 10 years, crazy, but I kind of want to do something just absolutely insane. 20 year rebuild. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. If you want to see it, you better hit that like button. That's the easiest way for me to know that you want to see it. Maybe I'll catch you all on the Oh, no, I will definitely catch you on the next one. I hope you did enjoy this. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And of course, get in that comment section. You want to see a 20 year rebuild? Let me know. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.